Hello, my name is Larissa Feeney, Chartered Accountant and CEO of Accountant Online. Accountant Online is an award-winning chartered accountancy firm that serves clients across Ireland and the UK. We help businesses to launch, grow and thrive by making financial and regulatory compliance simple for you. In this video, I'll share how to set up a limited company in Ireland in five important steps. In Ireland, you need to appoint at least one director and a separate company secretary. The directors will manage the company on behalf of its shareholders and the company secretary will look after your compliance requirements with the company's registration office or CRO for short. Their main job is to make sure your annual return is filed on time so that your company can avoid fines and penalties. Next, appoint at least one shareholder and decide how to divide up company shares. Shareholders are the people who own the company and it's very common for the directors to also be the shareholders, especially in the early days of business. Company shares are pieces of your business, so the number you have determines how much of the company you own. When you set up a company in Ireland, the shares are broken down into two categories, authorised and issued shares. Authorised shares are the maximum number of shares you can issue now or in the future, while issued shares are ones that are allocated to shareholders and paid for. The number of authorised and issued shares your company will have is up to you. For newly incorporated companies, it is usual to have 100,000 authorised shares and 100 issued shares valued at one euro each. These can always be changed as your company grows. This is just a recommendation to make it easy to set up your company. Choose your company's name. This is often one of the first things people consider when setting up a limited company. But be aware that CRO has rules around company names. They will check your name against other companies already registered and reject yours if it's too similar. Avoid having generic words like company or services in your name and keep your target customers in mind. For most businesses, a company name that is simple and easy to remember is the best option. Consider where your registered address and business address will be located. Your registered address is the official legal address of your company. The CRO will need to know this as it will be publicly listed on their website. Your business address is where your company's mail will be sent. You need to file your business address with revenue because this is where they'll send official correspondence. If you are working from home, you might not have a business address yet, but you can always use an address mail forwarding service from a registered office agent. Keep in mind though, you can't use a PO box as your address for revenue. Another thing to be aware of is that a mail forwarding address cannot be used for tax registration purposes. In those cases, revenue will still want to know where exactly your business is carrying out its activity. Prepare and sign the documents to incorporate your company with the CRO. The CRO have a website called core.ie where you can incorporate your company yourself or you can outsource the incorporation process to a company formation specialist. You'll need to fill out a form A1, which will include details such as your company name, its registered office and business address, and details of its secretary and directors. You'll also include a company constitution, which lays out the way your company will be governed and the rules it will follow. The CRO usually provides a very basic one-page constitution or a company formation specialist can provide one for you. As long as you fill out your application correctly, it generally takes up to one week for your company to be incorporated and for you to receive your certificate of incorporation and company number. So that's how to set up a limited company in Ireland in five easy steps. For more tips on company formation, visit accountantonline.ie.